Hey, good morning. How is everybody today? Happy Monday to you. Figured to do a little video from the bay here. And uh, hang on, I gotta get my wife to start rowing here. <laughs> She's gonna have to, although we're just sitting here baking in the in the morning sun. Oh, it doesn't matter. So this is the way, okay, this is the way you go kayaking. It's very convenient. It's easy because it's smooth. And you have your wife in the front and then she just does all the kayaking. There we go, she does all the stuff. All right, all the paddling, yeah. So if you join me this morning, give me a big boom in the chat function there in the area, you could say boom. I'll give you some views here. Here you go. This is the bay this morning. I got a great um, great subject we're gonna talk about this morning. Before I forget, Wednesday night, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm doing a free training called the Control the Chaos Method. So if you're feeling like this summer's bringing a little bit of chaos into your personal life, a little chaos into your mind, then make sure if you don't know the link or you haven't seen the link posted, just post below, give me the link and tag me and I'll make sure someone on the team gets the link. So let's talk about this morning. Uh, so first off, your Monday mornings, do you have a plan? Like you probably got a solid, maybe documented time. This is what's gonna happen. What happened, you stopped rowing? Uh, my phone was up on camera. Okay, well, this isn't, you know. You don't just get to take a break here. We got to keep, we got to keep moving here. Um, so, you know, a, yeah, you do have, you do have muscles. And a lot of people, what happens is they have their plan, but then there's no flexibility. And then you might be missing out on things because you're not, you're not flexible at all. So this morning, I did not have a ton of flexibility, but we normally go for a walk in the morning. Some... Well, you really did, you flexible. Flexible. No, I'm gonna talk about creating flexibility, not flexibility. Oh, there's, okay. there's a big difference between planning flexibility and creating flexibility. So when we go for a walk, all the time, walk or bike ride, my wife goes, she looks at the bay, she's like, oh, today's a perfect day for kayaking. And I always say the same thing, I'm like, yes. It is, that translates into perfect water, not perfect moment. And so this morning we were walking and she's like, hey, it's a perfect day for kayaking. We should go kayaking. And I was like, really? Like I have to drop off the navigator to the guy. By the way, if anybody's looking for a navigator, I'm selling the navigator. I don't need it anymore because my son is a proud owner of a brand new Ram 1500 Hemi Bighorn. Uh, it's the only reason I had the navigator was this backup. But if anybody's looking for a navigator, it's got a brand new engine in it. It's got brand new brakes on it, tires. The thing is like brand new and it's getting detailed today. So it's all cleaned up. So I'm like, we got to do this. She's like, well, we'll walk fast back. Now I know it's on, it's a mission. It's no longer an opportunity. It's a, it's a mission. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. We have to create flexibility because flexibility wasn't planned. And I think a big reminder is that, you know, at the end of your life, you're probably not gonna go, oh, I'm glad that I made sure that this, this thing was done, this task was done versus going out here in the kayak in the morning where nobody's at. So that's my message for today is, even though you didn't plan flexibility, you can create flexibility on what's most important to you. Now, with that being said, I have to be careful because next time she asks me, if I say, no, I can't, then it's like everything I said here is not true. So I got to be careful. What I, and she's sitting in front, so she's hearing everything and she's going to save this, uh, this video. So let me give you another little front view here so you can see. Okay, front view. Very clear. Look, you can see all the way to the other side over here. A whole bunch of houses. Foggy. There's the bridge. So if you ever come this way down to Seaside Park, let us know. You can come and hang out. Go hang out at the beach or see a sunset. Talk a little bit about life. 
maybe hang out in the food dog house. Lots of opportunities. I do have a friend coming in next week from Australia. Seems like only Australia people are visiting. So don't, don't be so close. You don't visit. Just hit me up. We'll hang out a little bit. All right. Let me flip it around. Also tell me, tell me what's going to be magical about your week this week. What do you got planned? What's your focus today? I did a post like, what's the one thing keeping you back from doubling your wealth? And I find it interesting, but not surprising. The interesting part is that everybody knows what the problem is, right? It's like fear, it's like me, it's like my mind. The second in interesting part is a lot of people don't, don't find a solution to break through the number one thing that's holding you back on all results. Like if you wanna scale a business, business training will only get you so far. You can only execute the business training at the ability of your own mind to think strategically, critically, right? That's the only way. And what I found out is now looking back over time, being able to grow a $32 million service company and sell that, grow the largest training and implementation organization out there called CEO Warrior, exit that. What I was able to see is that how important the mind, how the mind functions and how it functions against everything that you experienced in the past. And, but nobody in like very, I can't say nobody cause I have a lot of people in my world, but not enough people focus on investing in their own mind. That being said, we do have an event coming up in September. Um, it's all about level up. How do you level up yourself? Like you're the superpower. So you're the number one investment. If we build uh, you into a greater superpower, you get superpower results, right? You guys heard me say it before, in order to 10X anything, you got 20X yourself. Now, I do have to tell you that that is locked down now for only members only, because in less than seven days, like five days, we had so many people between members and new people becoming members of the Freedom Tribe, it just locked the sucker out. So the opportunity is this, if you're looking to invest in yourself and you feel I might be a right fit, me and the Food Dog Group to help you enhance so you can, you know, uh, supersize anything by superhumaning yourself, well then reach out to me, we could have a talk, see if it's a fit. If you don't think it's a fit, well reach out anyway and private message me and say, hey, I don't think you're a fit, I don't think that's a fit, how can, you know, what other options are there? I will tell you, and I'm not here to sell books, I don't make nothing on books, but the Mind Power book is a really good, um, solid book. If you want a free copy of the Mind Power book, then hit me up and I'll give you a link and you could get, hey, you could get yourself a free copy of the Mind Power book. All right, my wife has been rowing amazingly. It's time for me to uh, step in. I can't just sit here the whole time while she gives Jennifer horsepower here. All right, have an amazing day, everybody. Type me something below. Let me know you're watching it. And also do me a favor, share it with somebody else that needed to hear the message about, you know, forced flexibility. Boom.